Before Betaflight 3.2, if you tried to arm your quadcopter and nothing happened, you kind of just had to guess as to why. And there was a list of several common reasons why Betaflight would refuse to arm, but if you went down the list and you didn't find the one that it was, you were kind of just out of luck. In Betaflight 3.2, the devs added the arming prevention status flags, which is a way that Betaflight can tell you what's wrong and why it's refusing to arm. And in this video series, we're going to go down the list of those and tell you how, if you're getting that arming prevention status flag, what you should do to fix it and then get your quadcopter to arm. The first thing I want to show you is the list of all the possible arming prevention flags. And it's here at this URL, which you can find down in the video description. I'm going to go through this list in a series of videos. And for each of these arming prevention status flags, tell you how you can get rid of it, how you can fix it. And then once all these flags are gone, your quadcopter should arm. How can you find out? which arming prevention flags are currently preventing you from arming. There's a couple different ways to do it, but the best one I think is either to go into the command line and type status. And here at the bottom, you'll see arming disable flags. And here we've got RX loss, CLI and MSP. Or you can go in the OSD tab and here in the OSD tab, you're going to turn on the warnings OSD element. You can drag that around, put it anywhere on your screen that you like. Normally the warning OSD element is not going to appear at all, but if you've got the arming disabled warning turned on and you're going to want to have that, then it will show you the most severe reason for not arming. In other words, when you go to arm your quad and your quad doesn't arm, you can see in your goggles the reason why the quad doesn't arm. And it will actually say the very code that you see here. So it will say RX loss. It will say no gyro, whatever it is. You'll see that text in your goggles. What if you don't have an on-screen display on your quadcopter, or you forgot to turn on the warning element like I just showed you how to do, or you don't have access to the command line because you're out in the field and you're flying? Betaflight will still tell you the arming status code that's preventing you from arming by beeping if you have a beeper installed on the quad, or you can just look and see the LED on the flight controller flash, which it always does whenever it beeps. And the beeps will encode a number and the number encodes the arming status code. So here in this table, we can see that for each arming status code, there is a numerical beep code. Those beep codes changed slightly between 3.2, 3.3, and 3.4. So if you're on an earlier version of Betaflight, you will need to look it up in the correct column of the table. But you can see that for each one, there's a number and the beeps or flashes of the LED will indicate which of these is active. However, it doesn't just beep 10 times to indicate code 10. It actually does a combination of long and short beeps where the long beeps count for five and the short beeps count for two. Okay, so right now I've set this quadcopter up so that something will be preventing it from arming. And you can tell that something's preventing it from arming because this little blinking LED. That's not the LED that's blinking the beep code. I'll show you that in a second, but just you see how it's slowly flashing. Whenever that's happening, something will prevent your flight controller from arming. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and try to arm. Okay. And the arming status code there was one long beep followed by three short beeps. Let's just try that one more time to make sure I got it. One long, three short. Okay, whenever that happens, that indicates to you you've got an army status code and you need to go check it out. In the rest of this videos, in the rest of the videos in this series, I'm going to take you through each of the arming status flags and tell you how to fix each individual one. And I'm doing it on a video by video basis so that people who are searching for their exact arming status flag can find the video that pertains to that arming status flag. I do want to tell you though, if you're trying to arm your quad and you're not getting any arming status flags, maybe your arming mode is just not set up right. <laughs> Here in the modes tab, make sure that you have an arm mode defined and make sure that when you flip the switch in question, this little indicator 
which uh, is telling you where where the channel is make sure that indicator goes into the area covered by your arming mode if that's not working right then the quadcopter won't register that you're even trying to arm okay that's going to do it for this introduction to beta flight arming status prevention flags look forward to future videos where i will cover individual arming status flags hopefully the one that you are looking for and how to troubleshoot them there's a link to the playlist for all of these videos down in the video description thank you guys so much for watching happy flying